Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday in July 6, 2022. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to it. So, uh, yes, the last bastion standing really fell today and fell really hard. WGI oil is what we're going to look at first, and as you can see, we're down 9.54% of the day. And we are we have broken below the $100 um, barrier and testing uh, $99.01 per barrel at this current stage. And this just looks horrible. So oil, uh, oil was basically the last commodity that was standing. Natural gas, you can see, is still falling today and everything else is just falling off a cliff. And this is kind of expectations that going forward, uh, world economy is going into recession. US economy is most likely in a recession. European economy is uh, almost downright uh, depression uh, if uh, forecasts are are to be uh, true and uh, Asia is not doing well either so so demand for oil will definitely um, drop and um, as a major banks analysis today which expected um, WTI or oil uh, to drop down towards the $65 for the end of the year that would make sense that is uh, down here that's also where we were um, just before uh, the crash here in 2020 so it'll probably go lower than that it, uh, if we have a similar recession as we saw back in 2008 and uh, many forecasts do expect something similar to that and probably even worse then we may see oil dropping back towards 30 uh, dollars barrel or even 25 dollars barrel as nobody needs oil if nobody's running factories so if you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, on the edge of being oversold. So the question is where we go from here. And uh, and um, there are a few barriers. First of all, we are running into one of those right here. So we do have, uh, this was the previous uptrend line. So this was support, this was support, and this was support as well. So. We have the 200 moving average moving in this direction and if we go a line around here then we have this area here which uh, should offer massive amount of support if we break for example tomorrow or um, or on thursday down towards the 200 moving average then we should run into this kind of barrier bringing below here and then this just falls apart even though this basically has fallen apart it ran out of the momentum and it's going the same way as all the other commodity is are going. Question is whether or not um, how uh, how far and how fast this will go. If we look at the upside, uh, we have the 50 moving average most likely going in this direction. 20 super moving average will most likely cross here in the next few trading days and uh, will offer uh, resistance going forward. So rallying up towards these points will break down, rounding up to the 50 will break down uh, and so on. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we are going to retest this area yet again. And usually that is not the case. So definitely it's not looking really good for for oil. And I could imagine in going forward that we'll see something similar to this. That will have a, a channel that goes something like this going all the way down towards um, the $60 range. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is testing uh, the lows of, uh, of uh, last week. We're trading at uh, roughly 5.4, uh, trading at 5.438 at this current stage, and we are underneath the 200 moving average. This has, in my view, sold off way too quickly just the distance between the 250 moving average are are substantial at this point and uh, usually that is a, a indication that we are significantly overstretching or oversold at this point and therefore i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a minor rally up towards the 20 simple moving average or towards the six dollar range which is six point six point six dollar or six point six which is was the previous highest here so it looks terrible, but we have been dropping way too far, way too fast, uh, and therefore I, I would, I would be cautious to, um, 
to jump in here when, uh, because it may turn around before going lower. So we have the 20 simple moving average in this direction, 50 moving average in this direction. And if we rally up towards this area here, then we'll mostly be break down. If we go above, then the 50 is just above. So if we look at the continuous, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and RSI is also bearish on the edge of being oversold. So target here will mostly be the four dollars this is the area around here you can see how how much uh, support there was here when we hit the four dollars that's probably where we turn around and head to the upside going forward long term and due to the fact that Europe is in a massive energy crisis and one of the uh, one uh, solution to that energy crisis is uh, liquefied gas from the United States uh, this may go significantly higher if uh, if uh, demand from Europe uh, starts to increase at the current stage, it's not, that's not possible, but uh, uh, beginning next year or beginning of next year, uh, that probably will continue. So we'll probably see another spike uh, in October, December, uh, and January. Uh, so, so that's going to be interesting to see. But at the moment, this has just fallen way too fast, way, uh, way too far, way too fast, and therefore we can't expect this rally before going, uh, going lower. So hope you find helpful. You're also going to subscribe and subscribe to the like button above. See you. 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 See you